Hey, thanks for joining in. Today, we're gonna to turn a graphic like this into a graphic like this. And guess what? It's not AI. <laughs> this is a plugin for Adobe Photoshop called Embroidery. No, it's not. It's called Realistic Embroidery 3. Let me show you how it works. You're going to need to have some basic understanding of Photoshop. This is a little bit more intermediate level. Download the plugin, install it, and let's run it. Now, I've only used it this one time, so I'm going to walk you through some of the stuff I learned. I'm not exactly sure all of the details of how it works. That's something you're going to have to look up. I'll put some links in the description so you can learn some more about it. But I wanted to just show you how cool this app is. I was amazed at the quality of the results. And let me show you. So this is Operation Stalllift. This was a graphic I made for my friend Sweet Lou Gaming. You can check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description. He finished this huge video. It was a really cool experiment. I airlifted a stall horse out of the depth so you don't have to. You'll have to just check the link to find out more. But I wanted to send him something and I didn't have that much money to actually get a real embroidered patch. So let's just make it be fake and have it be a sticker. Next best thing. So I'm gonna try to just keep it pretty basic, but this is a high resolution image that you want. The higher the resolution, the better the quality, all that stuff. So because I was printing this out to be a sticker, I have it at 300 DPI resolution, and that will help in the final result. Now it also is important to figure out your resolution for printing because something I found out if you shrink your graphic, it's going to change the look. And what I mean by that is the embroidery effect is going to shrink and you're going to lose a lot of the details. So you really need to design this exactly the size you plan on printing it, then run the plugin, if that makes sense. Because what will happen is it'll just shrink all these little cool looking threads all over your graphic. You're not going to see any of that. And unfortunately, when I did my printout, I shrunk everything down and I lost a little bit of it. But that was OK because I wanted to have a large version of this that looked really good. And I know that the smaller I made the graphic, the less thread count I could get. <laughs> you know, thread count. What, you don't have any idea what I'm talking about at this point? Yeah, either do I. Don't worry about it. You'll see how it works. The plugin's really simplified. And so its limitations is the fact that it's simple. And so I made a quick graphic, put it together, and it's layers. So every color in this graphic is a separate layer. That's something that's important for this plugin. So you're in Adobe, you have your graphic, it's all layered up and you're ready to go. You pick one of your layers and you run the effect. So for me, I'm going to pick the small embroidery has the borders. I'm going to pick small, medium, large. There's your settings. You pick that and you run it. Now, here's where I messed up. You push that first. The next one down, you'll want to run that. But when it stops, you don't want to just leave it like that. You want to keep running it until it gives you a prompt. It'll give you a warning like this. It'll say it's all done. Then you render it out and boom. Look at that. Are you kidding me? And something to note, once it runs, it's going to put it at the very top. So you need to reorganize your layers and bring that effect down to the layer that you want it to be. So that way you can have it all organized. So we'll run this a couple more times and I'll jump through this. I'm kind of skipping ahead because I was doing some trial and error. I recorded like three hours and I learned the hard way. I watched some tutorials, came back, redid it. Like I mentioned before, it's very important to know how you want to print this out because the best resolution is going to be the size you're creating. And unfortunately, there's only a few options in the way this plugin works as far as the borders and stuff like that but it's unique in how we can go back into the layers right here and you can see and this is where you kind of have to click around and experiment yourself you can turn certain things off and on after it does this crazy thing this script is doing so in my case i know one thing i wanted to turn off this shadow effect that makes it look like it's sticking out a little bit further and that can be good when it's overlaying other thread but if you plan on printing this out on a sticker or a graphic you might not want that shadowed edge because it'll give it like a drop shadow or a haze. The other thing is this like hair effect that you get from the yarn or the string that it's using to simulate that embroidery. You can turn that off and on and adjust that. And because it's Photoshop, we can go and make some adjustments here. I'm going to go through and you can see how I'm going in and adjusting the color and the brightness because I'm trying to make the patch look as cool as I can. When I was designing this graphic, I knew I wanted to do the embroidery effect on it. And when I found this plugin and tested it out and I saw how good it worked, I was ready to go. And so the design itself is very simplified and I did it specifically only to be seen as an embroidered patch. I never planned on having the graphic just be a standalone graphic. Going through this, like I mentioned before, you're gonna click through and I know I'm showing a screen capture and it's kind of buzzing through everything really fast, but I just wanna show you how much you can adjust on this. And you can do some fine tuning using the Photoshop tools to just fix some stuff if you want it to look a little cleaner. In my case, I'm trying to make it look embroidery, but I don't want it to look ugly or messy. So here's an example of why you got to go in here and click around and find out. So you see the outline around this blue text. 
you can go into the submenu, twirl this down, and go down to border and turn it off. And look at that. It changes the look of the embroidery effect. Now, some effects might be better or worse depending on your design, but this is just an idea showing you when you get into the submenus of the layering after the effect runs, this is some of the stuff you can do to edit it. I was super excited at the final result. Operation Stall Lift 2023. Sweet Lou Gaming, that is what I envisioned. I wish I could have afforded to actually get a real embroidered patch made. And if you're watching this video this far, obviously you know how you might wanna use this. There's all different types of options. I think for me, it was the easiest thing just to make a simulated patch, super cheap and effective. You can make it as an iron-on. This plugin is something that I paid for. This isn't a sponsor or an ad or anything like that. I just thought it was so cool when I saw the results that I wanted to share it with you. Hopefully you find some inspiration, you find some creative uses for it. I know it was a very basic basic overview. I'll put links in the description to some tutorials that I watched to learn what I learned. Check out Sweet Lou Gaming. I'll put the link to that right here. I'll put a link on the screen and I appreciate you watching. Knob Top, go make something. Oh no.